Here is an interesting case that typically affects a teenage women uh, with some uh, psychiatric issues sometimes and sometimes issues with uh, how they perceive their own bodies. And this is a great case of anorexia nervosa. For this case, I've actually given you the parameters on the left-hand side. If you look at this, this is labeled as a sagittal stir, and this one is labeled as a sagittal T1. When we look at T1 weighted images, what do we typically expect the marrow to look like on, on that sequence? Well, at this age, this is a teenager, she should have complete replacement of her marrow with a fatty marrow. There should be very little hematic poetic marrow in the metaphysis and maybe a little bit in the uh, tarsal bones. And here, fat should be nice and white, sort of like the fat you see over here. And this is white, but it's sort of a grayish white. It's not as white as it should be. It do, you do see a little hematopoietic marrow over here, but it's not as white as we expect. The image on your left is a stir sequence, short tau inversion recovery, which means that the fat is suppressed chemically, and it should be dark, and the fluid should be bright. And a regular sagittal T1 stir image, this should all be dark because all of this is fatty marrow and fatty marrow should be suppressed and should become dark. The fact that it's so bright on stir means that the fatty marrow has essentially been replaced by fluid, okay, or something very fluid-like. So some people have termed this as gelatinous transformation of the marrow, and some people just say there's a lot of fluid, edema, whatever in here. And if you also look, the patient has very, very little subcutaneous fat, right? So it's affecting fat not also in the marrow, but also in the peri joint space, in the subcutaneous tissue, deeper soft tissue. All of what you see that is bright is edema. So that is what anorexia nervosa looks like. It causes this gelatinous transformation of the marrow, and it can be easily missed if you're not looking at your parameters. The sagittal stir, again, should be nice and dark, but here it's so bright. You know, other conditions can also cause this. You want to be sure that the patient doesn't have an underlying malignancy such as leukemia or, or lymphoma, uh, other uh, nutritional deficiencies. But when you see this in a teenage girl, dig deep into the chart and see if there is any psychiatric issues. Is there any problems with um, body dysmorphism? And hopefully what you look at can help you come up with the right diagnosis.